Welcome back to another video. Um, yeah. Thank you for the support on the first but second video, I guess, part two. So I posted one video where it was just me talking about my college life. So pretty much freshman year up to whenever I posted October, November? I think it was November, not too sure. And it got a bunch of views. So I was like, you know what? People liked it. Kind of, I guess. It got 600 views for a reason. Um, and yeah, so I was like, well, I can't make a part two as like a sequel to it. Because I was like, I haven't lived that long yet. It's been four months. Not much has happened. So I was like, why don't I talk about my high school day? So a prequel, basically. So that's why... If you check the channel, that's why the name of this one is The Making of Chris Medina Part 1. Somewhere down up there, down here, I don't know how YouTube works that much. And, um, yeah, I was just going to talk about my high school career, basically. And unlike my college life, my high school career was actually fun. So, you know how you cried in the first one? Well, I hope you did. Because if you didn't, you're a bully and you're canceled. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, if you cried in the first one, I get it. I almost cried. That's pretty wild. Um, but yeah, this one, my high school. So you know how most people say, oh, you, there's people that peak in high school. That's me. I peaked in high school. I was like, going upwards in high school and then college. Shoo. So yeah, I peaked in high school. So that should tell you about... How much I did in high school. Nothing illegal though. Nothing illegal. I, I, I had my fun. But it was all legal. I'm, a prou I'm proud to say I haven't broken the law. Yeah. And I'm going to keep it that way. Law abiding system. Woohoo. Anyways. Nobody cares about that. Um. So. Freshman year. Um. Yeah. I was like what? 13? 14? I recently. Well we all got to high school you know. And it was, it was interesting, you know, because it was in like, how do I explain it? It was weird because I wasn't popular, but I was well known. So my freshman year, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be a, how did I want to be? Wanted to be a lawyer. You can guess how that went because I'm making videos on YouTube now. No, but seriously, um. I wanted to be a lawyer. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'll make so much money. I'm going to be rich. Not famous, but rich. And then I got to high school and I was like, maybe I don't want to be a lawyer, you know? So I was like, uh, it's too much work. I like reading, but that's too much work. Like, studying law. That's why if you're a lawyer, I admire you. Because, like, I wouldn't be able to learn all those laws and apply them and whatnot. Maybe I would, but I don't know. I'm a lazy person. What can I say? Hence why half of my videos are winged. Actually, no. All of my videos are winged. I just plan out the topic and I just speak 12 minutes of nonsense and people like it. But anyways. So yeah, that was freshman year. I started off. Um, it's like I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be the best at it. And then it, the year started to go by and I started doing sports. So first off, I did cross country. Which was pretty cool. Uh, it was really cool, not even gonna lie. I was in shape. Yeah. Not not in my best shape, but I was in shape. I was able to run like three miles, four. Which is impressive. But not anything out of the... I wasn't like a prodigy or whatever. I wasn't like, oh my god, getting offers from D1 schools. Because I wasn't. And yeah. Cross country winning came. That, that was a fun sport. I got injured towards the end. I sprained my ankle. So, I mean, you know how people are like, oh, yeah, I was going to be a professional player. And then I screwed my knee up, for lack of better words. Also, I might make a bit. Damn. I'm trying to think I have ADHD because I'm stalking all over the place. Anyways, um, talking about ADHD. I hate when people are like, yeah, I haven't gone to the doctor yet, but, but I have this. And it's like, no, you don't. Go check it. I don't have to. I'm a self-diagnosed... Okay, Google. Um, 
Não sei se Oh, sports, yeah. So I did cross country. And, um, yeah, I sprained my ankle the last three weeks, so I wasn't able to finish the season. Granted, I wasn't able to finish most races. I'll get to that later. Wait, I'm not a quitter. Well, I am, but not, not in that sense. I wasn't that much of a quitter yet. So, yeah, it was, I did sports. I met a lot of cool people. I still talk to them, most of them, to this day. And, um, yeah, I sprained my ankle. The doctor was like, nah, you're done. And I was like, ah, oh, man, darn it. So then I was like, all right, well, I'm still kind of in shape for soccer. So I started doing soccer, and that's where my acknowledgement, because I'm not, I wasn't popular, I was one known. I got along with almost everybody, you know? Freshman year. And I don't remember how it happened. I think I bantered, I threw banter at someone, or I made fun of someone. I don't remember, but I was a freshman. And I was like throwing shade at like seniors or something like that. It wasn't anything bad. It was just like poking fun at them. And then, yeah, everybody was like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's my and like I said it and I forgot what I said. And I was wearing like a, it was a Milan jersey. It was like a highlighter yellow. And I said it and I was trying to hide it. And everybody was like, dude, you're not going to hide in that. So that's when everybody was like, oh, shoot, Medina. And I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Like, I, I know a few people. And then I was a freshman being known by seniors. And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm at the peak. I was like, ain't no way any was more popular than me. Obviously, <sighs> I wasn't. I was super arrogant freshman year. Um, and then I was like, dude, I'm so popular. Like, I'm about to rule this school. Anyways, that happened, and then, yeah, soccer season came. The soccer season was messy because it was, like, on and off type of thing. So we kind of had a coach, but we didn't, which is super funny now that I think about it. Like, they made us pay the most out of everyone, and we, we were the ones that paid, played the least amount of games. So, like, we didn't have charter buses or anything like that to take us to the games. We had to find rides to the games. And I was like, okay. I was in the novice team, basically. Which sucked. Nah, I'm not even going to lie. It, it sucked. <laughs> and, yeah. um, That happened. The season, I guess, ended well enough. That's fun. We played, like, three games, I think. Two or three games. Uh, we played three games. We played three games. Uh, we lost all of them. Mm. Oh, well, it happens. And then, yeah, that's when I started, like, getting more recognized in high school because I was like, oh, shoot, it's Medina. Because, like, our, uh, the soccer team was pretty big back then in high school. So everybody was like, oh, that's cool. And then that season ended, and then track and field started. So I was like, oh, I did cross country, I did soccer. I might as well try like long distance, long distance, there you go. Long distance running. So I, I don't remember what the event was called. I, didn't, I was only in it for like a week. So remember how I said in cross country, I couldn't finish most races. Same thing started happening in track and field. And I was like, yo, my knee is killing me. See, I had an actual excuse, you know, not like that one uncle that's like, man, I could have gone professional, but screw my knee up. No, no, no. I actually screwed my knee up. So, in other words, I went to the doctor. They ran tests and everything. And they were like, so, you grew too much in middle school. So now your bones are something like, something like my body was trying to catch up to my growth. Because I had a growth spurt. I went like from 5'4 to 5'8. And they were like, no, yeah, like, you'll have pains. And it was like at random times. So it wasn't like, oh, I start running and it hurts. It was like, I could run for like three weeks. And then on the first day of the fourth week, I would run and all oh, hell would break loose. And pretty much, I forgot what it was this, what it was called. They called it growing pains. And that's pretty much every time I would run, the muscle would stretch and it would scrape my bone or something like that. And it would slowly fracture it. So I was like, damn, there goes my D1 um, dreams. 
and then yeah so that pretty much ended my my career my athletic career which kind of sucks because everybody's like dude you're like super tall like play football play this i was like well i couldn't in high school because you know and yeah while that was happening i was also i was doing all right in school you know c's get degrees that being said, do not get straight C's. Don't be like, hey, yo, Chris got straight C's. I'm going to get straight C's because no, no, don't do it. And then, yeah, I ended freshman year. I don't think I failed any classes freshman year. Did I fail any classes freshman year? No, nah, I didn't. Surprisingly, I didn't. I got straight C's and everything. I got an A and PE too, which was pretty good. But PE was just suiting up. And then, yeah, s summer school. It was like, oh, you can take health during summer or you could take it during the semester. Like, And I was like, well, I'm not doing anything over summer. So I was like, might as well take it. So I took it and that was pretty cool. Not going to lie. Because it was a small class. And it was like 25 people at most. And I don't know if I've told this story yet, but... They nicknamed me the 2.0 because that was my GPA. I was like 2.2, but 2.2 doesn't sound cool. So everybody was like 2.0. And I was known as that freshman that was basically going to flunk out. And it was, it was a running joke. It was like an inside joke we all had. So that was not it. That was my nickname, 2.0. And that was pretty cool because what were we doing? I don't know. I was like the class clown, I guess. So pretty much... Elementary school, I tried being funny, and it didn't work at all. I was just that annoying kid that blurted out. Or no, no, after third grade, I was like, yeah, I'm not funny. <laughs> Straight out, I'm not funny. And then in sixth grade, I was kind of funny. And then middle school struck, which was, ooh, baby. I, I basically struck gold on there, because I was like, I was the class clown. Um... I can make a story about that too if you guys want. But then. You know what? I should have just done a whole life story. Make it like an hour long and I'll talk about my whole life. Because now I'm going to start making videos of like, oh, middle school. And then, wait, we want to hear elementary school. I was like, oh, wait, we want to hear kindergarten. Oh, wait, we want to hear preschool. Oh, wait, we want to hear how your parents made you. No, I'm just kidding. You're not going to hear about that. Because I don't want to know. Trust me. Anyways. What was I talking about? Summer school. Yeah. So, oh, no, I was talking about being funny. So, elementary school me was like, I'm not funny. So, in middle school me, I was like, I was, I started being more outgoing. And it was kind of like, I didn't really care about classes in middle school. Like, I did, but it wasn't my priority. My priority was to make people laugh. I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I'm there to entertain people. Not to give good grades. She was like, no, stop it. And then high school, high school is where I struck the balance. So pretty much in summer school, I was, because keep in mind, freshman year, I was hanging out with seniors. So it was like, I got to summer school and there was like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So I got along with everybody. And I was the class clown. It was funny. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say names or not, but I had this teacher called Mr. Hassey. If someone knows him and sees this video, tell him I said hi. 2.0 said hi. He was mad cool. He was an entrepreneur. He knew the, like, the, the, the founders of, like, Ross and Jack in the Box and whatnot. And he told me, keep in mind, I was a 2.0 kid flunking out of high school. He was like, you're going to be the first rich student or, like, the first millionaire out of this whole class. And I was like, oh, buddy, that's a wild bet you're making. Because there was kids in there that were like on a roll and stuff like that. He was like, you have the personality for it. And I was like, oh, that's not a good bet I would make. And I was like, eh. And everybody else was like, really? Me too. I was like, damn, really? All right. Um, But yeah, he was like, you'd be the first millionaire. And I never really believed him. Because that's kind of like, dude, you're betting on like the dumbest kid here. And then... Yeah, summer school came, loved it. It was pretty cool, not even gonna lie. Sophomore year started, and I had in the back of my mind, I was like, yo, 
maybe I will be a millionaire, you know? Because, hey, if someone that knows millionaires tells you you're going to be a millionaire, it's not. You know? Which kind of makes sense if you think about it. That's like professional players or professional athletes telling you, you're going to be a professional athlete one day. It goes, like, granted, I'm not a millionaire yet. Um, I'm nowhere near a millionaire yet. It'd be cool one day. Not my main goal, though. Anyways, besides the point, sophomore year came along. And I was thinking, like, yo, maybe I will be a millionaire one day. But it wasn't my priority. So sophomore year, I was still making people laugh, this and that. And it was, it was a fun time. Um, sophomore year, what happened sophomore year? Oh. Sophomore year was, I think I peaked. No, I peaked junior year, not gonna lie. Or senior year. I don't even remember. Sophomore year, I started selling stuff. And by stuff, I mean like chips and candy and whatnot. And that was pretty cool, not gonna lie. That, that made the whole high school thing interesting. Now, I don't know if I could get sued for that or not. Probably not, because it already happened. But I was selling chips, candies. It was pretty cool. And that was about it, because I didn't have a job. And I was like, well, I want to make money. Um, I think that's all that happened sophomore year. Oh, sophomore year? Nah, I actually got bullied by a teacher sophomore year. Shit was wild. Oh, I'll just leave that in, whatever. If I get demonetized, I get demonetized. Well, I don't even have enough to get monetized. Anyways, back to the point. I got bullied by a teacher. Um, what do you say? What do you say? Oh, he said something like, don't talk to him. I forgot what we were doing. But he said something along the lines of, oh, don't talk to him. Because, like, he'll lower your IQ or something like that. And that shit struck home. I was like, damn. That's messed up. That's messed up. I was like, I, I know I'm dumb, but you ain't got to make it that obvious, man. Come on now. And then, yeah, that happened. I'm not going to drop his name because I'm not about that. I'm only about that if it's something positive. There you go. And, yeah, that's pretty much all that happened sophomore year, I think. Um, I'm trying to think. What else did I do sophomore year? I think that's it. Yeah, I made a bunch of new friends, and then, I mean, I got reunited with some people from my French class, which was pretty cool. So I took French in middle school, and I made up, because I failed French one too, <laughs> funny enough. And I don't have a minor in French, but that's besides the point. So I failed French one too, so I had to retake French one too as an 8th grader. So I met a bunch of 7th graders and a couple 8th graders, and it was pretty cool because it was like kind of close. We were all kind of close. Because for them, it was, it was something new. And for me, it was just like, I already saw this last year. So I didn't fail it because I didn't know it. I just failed it because I didn't feel like doing the homeworks, you know? Anyways, that happened. So I pretty much promoted from middle school to high school. So my sophomore year, the French class made the jump to high school as well. And we pretty much got reunited. And that class was so fun. And I got... I was with the teacher that was like laid back. She's she's the best teacher. She's one of the best teachers I've had. The best French teacher I've had. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, that that class was fun. I think that's all that happened sophomore year. And then junior year came along. That's when. That's kind of when I knew I was made for the big stage, kind of. And I mean that in like a kind of metaphorical way. Because I took drum, and that class was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and I got, like, adopted, I guess, by, like, the the drama kids. And we would always improvise everything. Because people would be like, oh, yeah, like, let's let's rehearse our stuff. We would just be like, you know what? Let's, let's run it. Let's just do it. Let's, let's improvise it. it. It is what it is. And I liked it. I liked being in front of people, you know? Because it was, it was cool. Um, that's when I started getting the hint, like, oh, maybe I could be an actor. But then I was like, eh, I don't want to memorize lines. And, yeah, junior year, what else happened junior year? 
Junior year? Oh, junior year's when I really started selling chips. And then I got caught. Well, I got they I got given an ultimatum. They were like, you better stop selling chips or then I report you. And I was like, all right, all right. My bad. What happened junior Oh, junior year French? <sighs> Such a fun class as well. Whew. That class. All my French classes were fun. I'm not even going to lie. From high school. Well, uh, I guess middle school was fun too. Well, middle school was different. Because I had a different outlook at the time. But now that I look back at it, it was fun too. But high school, yeah, that, was, that was fun. What else did I do in high school? Or junior year? French was fun. Um, I think that's it. Because I didn't do sports. I wasn't old enough to work yet. Um, I think that's all I did sophomore year. Or junior year, sorry. Man, senior year. Senior year is where I popped off. Dude, senior year. Oof. Oh, wee. So, senior year came along. And that's where the fun started because I was working. And I wasn't making much, but I was making some. You know, for high school, for a kid that never worked, I was getting like 40, like $80 a paycheck. And I was like, yo, I'm big balling right now. And yeah, that, that was fun. Because I could afford to buy myself food now. Like, I'd be on, on at school and I'd be like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to buy myself a bag of chips or something. And that was pretty cool. That was cool. I paid for my own prom. I didn't go to homecoming. Uh, I didn't go to grad night. Uh, 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 uh. I think that's all the big events I went to my senior year. Um, but yeah, so I started working my senior year. That class was, um, French was fun too. And that was my year where I popped out because I started going to parties and whatnot. So, um, I didn't drink. I didn't drink at the parties. I was just taking because I was funny. Because I'm not really an entertainer, but I was like, hey, let's go. I was like, hey, why not? I got nothing to do. So I wouldn't drink, but I would just make people laugh. And yeah, I started going to parties. I started, what else? I mean, I guess I started working more seriously in terms of like a job. And then what else did I do senior year? I took a tally. That class was fun. Um, oh. Was that senior year? I think it was senior year. Or was it junior? No, junior year. There was a dance. I think the tickets were like 20 bucks. So I was like, eh, why not? That was for a foundation. And like all the proceeds were going to a foundation. So I was like, you know what? Let's go. So I went with my friends and whatnot. Loki messed up though, because they were like, oh yeah, free food. So I was like, hey, I mean, I may not dance much, but free food is free food. So we show up and there was a taco stand, but they weren't free. And I was like, damn it. So I was like, oh, whatever. So I bought food because I was like, I'm hungry and I'm not gonna spend the whole night without eating. So we got food and whatever. And then, yeah, the dance was going on. Dude, some students at the high school were some I don't know how to say it. Without being disrespectful. Well, not disrespectful, but without getting demonetized. They were really advanced for their age. They were easily turned on. There you go. That's for a lack of better word. Um, and yeah, um, I was at the dance and this girl was like, oh, like stand right here and I'll dance on you. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So funny enough, I could have started the Dating Chronicles back then, but I did. And I was like, chill, chill, lady. And it wasn't that I didn't want to. I was like, I'm scared of getting suspended, you know? So I was like, hey, I'm good. 
looking back, I was like, man, I should have done it. But I was like, eh, it is what it is. And then, that was junior. Senior year, I already went over senior year. Prom was fun. We got a party was. That was, that was, that was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Um, what else did we do senior year? Went to parties. Um, I think that's all I did senior year. I was working. I got accepted into college. What else did I do? I think that's it. Um, yeah, I didn't do much senior year. I'm trying to think. I mean, I watched the World Cup, but that was before the senior year. Um, maybe I overhyped my high school career because that, that wasn't that fun. But I mean, hey. 2.0 signing. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that was my high school career, pretty much. Obviously, I didn't go over like specific details because I'm not trying to dox anyone. That's just kind of like this. But I mean, I could go more into detail later on. I just don't know what to go into. I didn't date anyone. <gasps> See me. I remember now. I remember now. So senior year, um, what was it? So senior year, I was in my Playboy era, per se, per se. Playboy era in the sense that I was talking to a lot of girls, but I wasn't dating them or anything. I was just talking to them. And there was these two best friends. I'm not going to say their names because I forgot them, honestly. So, um... Yeah, there was these two best friends. I was talking to one of them. And I don't know why I didn't date her. I forgot. High school me was wilding. And yeah, we, we just kind of fell off. And then I started talking to this other girl. Oh, my bad. Got an Amazon delivery. Anyways, started talking to this other girl. And things... Uh, uh, they turned sour real quick. And then I found out that they were best friends. So then they started fighting each other. Because they were like, no, I'm going to date him. And I was like, hold on. I'm not going to date either of you. Why are you guys fighting? So they stopped talking to each other. And I was like, damn. That's crazy. And yeah, that's the story of how I broke up two best friends. Not proud of Well, I mean, I was on my pimping grind, you know. I know that's illegal. I was in my big baller grind. There you go. And that, that was pretty funny. You now that I look back at it, I was like, damn. I really got into a fight over a guy that wasn't shit, you know? I'm still not shit, but I still wasn't back then. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much my high school career. Um, um. I might start a bit. If you made it this far, I love you. Um, I'd give you a big smooch, but I don't know how old you are. So, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, I might start a Patreon. It's going to be like a dollar a month. And I'll be able to tell my stories more fluently. Fluently? I don't know what the word... No, that's funny. I'm studying language, but I, I'm blanking on language. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I might start a Patreon. I'm going to charge like a dollar a month. And I'm going to like go off, you know. I'm not going to hold my cuss words. I'm not. I'm going to go on into touchy subjects. I'm going to do. I'm going to do everything that I can on YouTube basically. Um, But yeah. I think that's all for today. Uh, Also, I know I said I was done with the Dating Chronicles. But for some miraculous reason, I got more matches. And, yeah, I was like, I might as well do the video now before I forget. So I'm going to post the Dating Chronicles. I don't know if it's tomorrow or Sunday that I'm going to post the Dating Chronicles. And I think that's pretty much all. Oh, also, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And also, once again, I appreciate the support for the other video. Um, let me know if you want to see more story times, because I'm down. I'm an open book. Ask me any questions. As long as they're PG friendly, because you know how YouTube is, I'll answer them. I don't got a problem. With that being said, I'll see you guys in a couple of days for the day, excuse me, for the Dating Chronicles. But yeah, take it away, Dancing Chris.